Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first episode of the Elite Boys podcast. I am your host, Broke Boy, otherwise known as Jamie. We're recording this live over on Twitch. There will be a link in the YouTube description. We're aiming to get this up on YouTube and potentially Spotify as well. Who knows? This is just meant to be a fun podcast. Lots of sports, FIFA, trading card elements to it. So, of course, you can get your questions in on Twitter. We'll try and answer them at the relevant times or in the Twitch chat, but keep them sensible, please, because, yeah, that's what we're asking for. The main thing that we'll be doing while doing this podcast is searching for games in the Elite Division. It's not completely why we're called Elite Boys, but, yeah, that is why. Anyway, let me put my headphones on because we are about to be joined by a co-host, the arguably best personality that I've met on this website, Twitch. He is my co-host. He is a 20-year Man United fan, Mr. Tinky. Let's welcome him on in. Testing. Are we there? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. 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 No worries at all. Is <laughs> how this FIFA really, really kind of sucks. <laughs> yes. And uh, how EA is, uh, yeah, navigating through the um the whole um you know market and you know everything so um everyone's uh trying to yeah give their two cents worth so why not right we we have something to say about as well and we are i guess we played this game a lot <laughs> let's just say yeah, yeah. Well, what was your first fifa uh broke boy my first well, my first ultimate team would have been FIFA 17. Like, I would dabble in, like, FIFA 15 and FIFA 16, but my first full ultimate team, FIFA 17, definitely. FIFA 17, okay, yeah, yeah. Actually, to be fair, um, to be honest, yeah, I guess I really didn't get into it until FIFA 16. Even 16, I didn't really play. I mean, you know, you know I'm a founder. Like, uh, you know, for the, for the people that don't know, yeah, I'm, you know, I got a founder badge, and I think that's what FIFA... Nine? Yeah. Sorry, not that would be oh nine, nine, yeah. Something like that, yeah, yeah. But I never played like you know, I didn't know about the two thousand eleven, twelve, you know, the, the KSR years and the whole you know, I, I re revisited them later, you know. Um but yeah, sixteen was the my start, but seventeen was when I really got into it. So we're pretty much the same, I say. Uh seventeen was when the new engine came out, right? The frostbite. And I believe so, champs, yes. The foot champs yes. as well. Um, foot champs, and, you know, SBCs, of, yeah. Uh, with the with the tournament win, and uh, I think we arguably got one of the best content year, I must say. Um, in terms of content, in co in terms of content, yeah. 17 I think 17 and 18. was great because everything was new, right? Like, uh, you know, we were like just thrown, like, oh, SBC, I remember like Sterling SBC, you know, like the play of the month, you know, the purple card. I was like, holy damn. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, sorry, I I'll try and uh, uh, be, um, you know, my language. Uh, <laughs> I need to watch out for it, but let me know if I do stray into it. Um, the, um, yeah, if I'm not playing FIFA, it's fine. But do you, do you want me to keep, uh, sorry, invite you first, right? Yes. So we can, we can do some, oh my God, it just kicked me out. Fantastic. So we can at least so we can at least search because yeah, I did yeah. win a game. I know I actually won a game Wait, with. You won a game in yeah, the I won a game oh, with the team. Yeah, Let's yeah, go. I won a game with this team with Nakamura, uh, no, Miura, uh, yeah, <laughs> Starboy. Yes. You should um, you actually should send him that team because that's what someone did to me right? again. This is um, not being toxic or anything, but someone sent me a message with their team, which is like pretty much similar to what uh, Broke Boy has. Uh, if you can't see in the screen, by the way, he has a very, very basic team with Miura, Chong. Uh, he got a right, right card icon, right? C yeah. Uh, center back, but then playing CDM. Um, and anyway, so he's got an objective team pretty much, like an untradeable team. So um, 
yeah, like, uh, yeah, I got sent a message because I, I, um, I honestly, I was down 3-1, uh, 70 minute, I think. And then I brought it back to, um, I brought it back to 3-3 three, three, and then I quit. <laughs> So I got sent the message. Yes. Uh, Proper toxicity, so, which we have experienced yeah, a yeah. lot of this year in particular. I feel like yeah. out of all yeah. the years I've played, the toxicity has jumped a level this year. I think so. And I'm I sure everyone, yeah. whether it be in the chat, in the YouTube, in the Spotify, can relate because they have seen it, whether it be in their own personal attempts to yeah. play or just in yeah. other people's streams. Yeah, it's just... um. I think it's just, and also again, um, like you know, uh, for for those of you who are not um familiar with me, like um, you know, I play yeah, again. I'm going back to it, like FIFA 17, yeah, FIFA 18. I spend a lot of money in this game. I'm not trying to flex. Uh, I I just do. It's a sad thing. Uh, grown man, thirty, you know, thirty four years old. So I started playing what FIFA when I was thirty, uh, nine, uh, twenty nine, whatever. You know, on the ultimate team. But yes. before that, my first FIFA was FIFA 1999. FIFA 99. So, um, you know, I have um, played this game over a long period of time. And, um, you know, you can say that, you know, I, I'm a big fan of this game. However, yeah, like I do spend money on the Ultimate Team at yeah, 17, 18, 19, 20. I reckon I average about, I don't know, like five or $6,000 a year. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. So, speaking from experience, um, it's definitely not worth it. Um, you know, you see these uh, content creators you know, spending thousands of dollars and then you get the hype as well. And then on that level, like, you know, obviously they are doing their job when you get the ur urge to open the packs. And that's what I have been doing. But then obviously I found these uh, Twitch channels uh, in the end, like, you know, when, you know, like we're with two moms and, uh, you know, Brock Boy himself with, with Cripsy, uh, you know, Kyron, uh, you know, Kadamani and all these uh, boys, you know, shout out like to all of them. Um, they, they sort of gave me the perspective of, look, you know, you can play the game without spending money. So I, I gradually has, um, I gradually have uh, reduced my spending. Um, so, and I think last year I actually didn't play the game uh, in Ultimate Team. Would you believe you until... did? I swear, yeah, you didn't buy it until it was free on EA until, Play. Uh, free, but then I did. You did uh, dabble in it a little yeah, bit, yes. and then you yes. gave up and became exclusive to pro clubs. It was just not, yeah. Yeah, it, was it just never not... is. Even if you play competitively, you have to spend yeah. over what you actually will make back in a year yeah. from yeah. the game. Like so, you've got to be signed yeah. if you want to, yeah. Yeah. and then content creators, most of them write it off on tax. <laughs> yeah, I um I've seen people like you know say on Twitter and other yeah. media about right. how much they spend, and uh, you know to to compete like yeah. to, for for the competition and it's just ridiculous amount of um you know money that you have to spend like uh to even get competitive you know which is ridiculous you know by the way um yeah we are searching yeah so we are is, searching a... we will <laughs> give it a little bit like. Yeah, this podcast yeah. will be like an hour long, so if we don't get a match in an hour, we're not playing anymore. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> well, well, there is precedence, because, you know, I think we went through... Yeah, last time we went through like one and a half hours. Yes, well, that was a sap day. <laughs> this is Monday. Champs is but, over. Champs is over, so, yeah. Uh, let's uh, see if... Uh, but the problem is with co-op, it's a bit hard, isn't it? On it is, I, ge yeah, yeah. I guess, but a lot of the competitions are actually 2v2, so a lot yeah. of the... Yeah. I know... I don't know many, but I know, like, say, for example, the Footwiz lads over in Europe will yeah. start, yeah. will play together, or yeah. the Footwiz yeah. boys over here, Jamie and Marco, yeah. will play yeah. Together, yep. but and then it's not just you that might, some yeah. people, some I mean, that depends on SR. Like, our SR is not good, <laughs> yep, mm, one of the lowest, probably combined, <laughs> yeah, top, <average>. yeah, top <laughs> 90 something percent, which is not good, <laughs> but <laughs> but we, we don't pretend to be good, yeah, either. that <laughs> that is the thing. I must preface with this podcast, we're not <laughs> pretending to be good because we are elite boys, it is a name that I came up with, yeah, I just banged something together, that's the logo. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks it's, professional uh, it's enough. Bit, it's a bit of a banter, right? Like, the, the way that we reached uh, um, Elite as well. Like, obviously, um, you know, just to give context to the listeners, like, um, we, you know, we, we played this game. Um, again, again, we, we, I, I approached uh, Broke Boy, you know, at the start of the year because I saw this, uh, 
uh, co-op thing, and uh, you know they they let you play in yeah, the which Bible has been around for like three years. Yes, yes, <laughs> but like I, you know, like, I didn't get involved at all yeah. before. So I just and and to be fair, like he gave it a go, but then he was like, I'm skeptical, you know, because I'm like, you know, and he's he's right to be because. You know, this is sometimes may not be a great content, you know, like two people, if you don't match together, like, you know, it didn't, it can get a bit uh, pretty bad. You know, we've seen other players play. I'm not going to name names because obviously, um, you know, like that's not what we're about. But like, yeah, they just have struggles, you know, like with, with each other. So I feel like we kind of got that in the first place, but then we sort of worked together and yes. we worked it out. And I think, you know, like, and, and yeah, a way like we just, went up and up and up and uh the last season like we yeah we got to elite with like what one one yeah i there. i streamed yeah. a good eight hours just to get yeah. to elite yeah one win two two uh, one win to get one win right yeah that's how dedicated took, we are it took so. quite a while but yeah a lot actually high. has to go in because it's yeah. not just we play it's I have to be there looking at the team yeah. looking at what needs to be improved we have to think yeah, oh yeah we, is this we talk to each other every day and try and uh, you know understand you know what we have to do and yeah you know it's a bit of a it's a little bit of a part-time you know work you know uh, because yes, like yeah, but I, I mostly I do back. it all because yeah tt yeah, yeah, has um, many jobs a full-time job so <laughs> many jobs which one many of them jobs. one of them i'm sure we'll get a dedicated episode yeah, yeah, we'll we'll get to that. I think in, in this is more of a introduction to ourselves, right? So yes. let's just try. I mean, even though I guess I'm not, uh, how do I say? Like, I don't want to talk about myself too much, but then I guess we do have to give context uh, to our listeners, right? That yes. doesn't know us. So, yep. Because a lot of the people will be tuning in, whether it be on the YouTube, potentially on the Spotify. I've got to figure that mm -hmm. one out. That's going to take a mm -hmm. bit of a while. So once mm -hmm. I figure it out, it'll be quite easy. Yeah, let's um see how we go. Um, but yeah, hope, uh, anyway, yeah, any feedback is welcome. Yeah, any Comment questions back. in the chat, yeah. of course, mm -hmm. we'll try and read. Well, yeah. I'll respond to as many questions as possible. And even you know, you can add you can add uh, Broke Boy on uh, you know Twitter as well. Oh my! Oh my God, we got a game. Here we are, but the conversations do not stop. Like we may. Oh no, we don't. There may be yeah. there may be times where we get a little heated, but that's the yeah, yeah. nature of it. I will try to um, uh, how do I say? I will I will try to be very very uh, uh level headed. Let's just say. <laughs> yeah, this is more. Can I ask though? How's it gonna work? Are you just we just gonna be natural. We keep going. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. natural right. sort of thing. Cool. I mean, Benzema, Kante. The fat right. Benzema ratio, which is <laughs> one of the fastest growing memes in the <laughs> FIFA community. I actually. <laughs> I was watching, this is a real story, I was watching Kush, <laughs> 23 TV last night, and some uh, guy, he puts out one of his tweets where he's like, I'm opening this pack now, or I'm opening this pack, or these amount of promos, some guy literally yeah. goes, get a job. So his, <laughs> so his thing is like, for example, go ratio this guy, and he links the tweets, so of course my response is, I went and found a photo of the flashback Benzema, and my response was, didn't ask plus ratio by Fat Benzema. I don't think he'd ever seen it before. Because he was like, oh, broke boy, that's a, that's a great tweet. I was just lurking, and then he says my name. Yeah, it was pretty oh, good. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Very nice, um, indeed. I mean, yeah, he's a, he's a nice guy. Like, he actually knows me from Katamani stream. <laughs> he and, he uh, knows who Cripsy is. I didn't think, I, I didn't think he'd say... Because he's like, I love the Aussies. He goes, like, I love uh, Kato, yeah, and I love Drunken, yeah. and I love Cripsy. And I'm like, what? Yeah, he comes into our uh, Drunken Steam uh, well, sometimes. Yeah, drunken, I think he rated Drunken. Drunken is well. one of his... Well, drunken's one of his mods. One of his mods, yeah. Well, he's everybody's mods. Yeah, he's everybody's so. mod. Um, but, um, yeah, so... By the way, yeah, I mean, if you are listening on the, you know, um, YouTube and all that, um, we are um, playing in the game of Elite um, <laughs> right now in co-op. And, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a interesting game, to be fair. Um, uh, yeah, uh, you know, our team is not bad, so to say the least. Uh, and uh, this Gelson is... Uh, not bad. Oh my god, that's a great ball for Mr. Broke Boy, yes. and he has scored the first goal. The yeah. Gelson Martin. Gelson Martin, who I did not do on my main account. 
Like, I'm not regretting it because I have no, so no, many. No, no. I have yeah. so many wingers and I have so many players. Oh, you got um, Neres, who I don't. Neres and Saka yeah. and whatnot. So I do have quite a few. If um, these boys uh, lose to us, uh, that's a foul. No, okay. Maybe it was a, it was uh, advantage. That would be why. By the way, uh, oh, uh, I haven't played for like over a week. Yeah, I so it it could be uh interesting. It could either go very well, or it could really really backfire. So let's just uh hope for the best. Oh Hoping no, for the best. Here. Oh no. Oh, what a play! That's a nice ball out. Oh, oh yeah. Go on. No, oh. I tried to. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Listen. How was my weekend? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, a lot of Halo. That's the other thing. Is we oh, yeah. <laughs> FIFA has been second fiddle to Halo Infinite, which I'm sure a lot of the listeners have been playing. It is free yeah. on both. It's not an ad, by the way. We're never going to get sponsored yeah, by Yeah, let Halo. us know um, what other games you're playing. You yeah, know, yeah because you are, FIFA, FIFA, as we've mentioned off, off podcast many times, it is t a tiny bit dead at the minute. So, But, um, yeah, it just I think it's just the, um, um, how do I say, the fatigue for me as well. Yeah, like, it's Black Friday, to, be, to give EA credit, um, Black Friday was done very well. Like, Was it? um, I think for me, I think they've done, they've done it well, but I feel like they just throw everything in the kitchen sink, you know, like, yeah, and it's, they, um, the aim kind of, is not to sustain the game. It is more to, yeah, it's just, um, interesting to see, like, you know, um, but anyway, um, yeah, like, let us know, you know, how you you know, think this year's FIFA is, how you're going, how, you know, you're finding the market, you know, the that's another point of contention as well, you yeah, know, like I'm the market sure, is... I'm sure we'll have a dedicated what is wrong with FIFA episode at yeah, some point. Yeah, and we'll, we'll answer your question in the next episode, you know, like, yes. um, what, if, if we... We're not have, planning, you know, we're not planning too far ahead. Uh, it'll uh, be, but, it'll yeah. be a once a week thing, don't want to try and yeah, convolute yeah, it, just, take away I from think... the gameplay itself. Yeah, like, I will admit that... it's a tiny bit distracting trying to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all right. Um, and but also like it's it's good time. to um get the you know um yeah, yeah. Stevo. I won't I won't be mentioning that Stevo. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Stevo, but it just please, yeah. please. It just it's just Stevo. Um... I love you, but oh, what a ball! That's a ball and a half. Please, oh <sighs> straight no. at him. Bro, boy, got distracted there. I won't say distracted that time. Just normally, normally I would right be screaming him. my head off. Yeah, it was right at him, and we're winning. Yeah, but you know the goal is to win from with more. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll we'll oh. Oh, what a play! It's a great so play. I tried to shoot much earlier, but no, no, it's okay. It's okay. We'll get there. Um, but yeah, so um. I think a week also give us a bit more content as well, um, as we um, as we you know get more content from FIFA. Um, if yeah, we get more, us... if like obviously there's a big thing going around that there will be a bit of content from FIFA. If you haven't seen yep. it on Twitter, recommend yep. you search and you do the rounds. But I won't I won't put it in. The no, no, because it so. is That's... as close to public knowledge as public knowledge can be. You uh. Yeah. It's um yeah, it's just um you know, let us know what you're looking forward to. Are you saving packs for team of the year? Uh, you know, like and um, you know, are you looking forward to team of the year? Do you have any predictions for team of the year? Um and yeah, it just um basically um Oh, unlucky. Um yeah, we try and um I think the the you know, we're pretty chill guys, the two guys, yes. you know. Um We can be pretty... at the best of times. <laughs> Under the right environment, yes, that is quite true. Um, yeah, we're you know also we we're we're more um these days probably unranked Halo boys more like more than elite boys, but yeah, it's a interesting uh shift at the moment. Uh, yeah, just in yeah, you know Steve just, just that won't be something we speak about either because again that's 
That is private stuff, unfortunately, not <laughs> stuff that we can speak about. I mean, two mums, if you're listening and you'd like to confirm, please reach out. We love you. <laughs> we care about you. Please confirm. <laughs> Devo suspicions or deny. Yeah. But yeah. Two mums. It... I don't watch a lot, but he was very good at his job. Yeah, I was, um, yeah, I was one of his mods. And, yes. Uh, that was the first twitch uh yes. channel that i actually watch so um yeah yes interesting um you know and then after that obviously it, it got up to the fifa um you know community afterwards so yes. yeah i um appreciate what he's uh done for the fifa you know trading market for me and stuff and yeah he was a very nice person to know oh my lord the ball. But yeah oh crap okay Thought that was a penalty, but all right, maybe not. Oh, oh good header. Oh, but yeah, it's uh, it is a very distracting, I think, while trying to talk. It is, but <laughs> thankfully, we are holding our own, and it's not like we are out here. That's all right, you know, it's something to get used to. Oh, that went through. Oh. Um, I keep forgetting this is a lead, so nothing will come it is uh, very elite, easily. But uh, yeah, into that recommendation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, if you are playing, let us know what div you're in. Not everyone can be like us. They do back to back. <laughs> Not everyone can even make a leak div. As easy as it sounds, and trust me, it's very easy if you put enough time and I hate to say this, but money into the game. Because I don't think a leak div is going to happen without a investment. Oh, so oh wait oh, a wait. minute. Oh. oh, that was unlucky. Uh, yeah, without some form of investment, which I'm grateful that Tinky has provided, of course. I could not afford oh. to put in anything. Yeah, really. you know, um, it's it's a it's joy all a bit of, of fun. It's all a bit of fun, and it's not. Uh, it's just yeah, one of those um, what the hell? Oh, it's a oh, it's a free. Yeah, I didn't know why I did that, but okay, sure. Sure, sure, Stevo. We'll we'll say that. We'll say he is. Yeah, totally say he is. But, yeah, of course, if you can, try not to spend money. Just have fun with the players that you can. Yeah, I don't recommend. There's a, lot, there's yeah. a lot of good RTG streamers out there, whether it be the Lebo de Glory or Nick 28T, if you like the longer form stuff, or you like the more local boys. you got Kyron as well with his insane pack luck. And, unfortunately, I have to say that Gazalinga is also on a road to glory. <laughs> yes. I have to say that Gazalinga is on a road to glory, despite the fact that it yeah. seems like he packs an icon every other week. He has two teams. Yeah, he has two teams at this point. Why? No, no. Oh. But yeah, it's um, it's interesting, you know, like there's a lot to talk about. There um, is, and it's not just the, FIFA, uh... it's not just FIFA, I'm sure. Like I say, one of the next episodes will be the big cross-section. What went wrong oh. with FIFA 20? Yeah. Oh, good play. Yes, he can, Steve-O. He, he can. Unfortunately, if I consider Gazalinga to be RTG, then unfortunately, <laughs> Kyron falls into the bracket too. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, you know, I, I, don't I, know. I, I, love, I love both of those guys. Uh, they, they demonstrate what you can do without money, you know? Some better than others. Just, um, oh, unlucky. Uh, you picked Mega 9 um, weekly. Yes, that is true. We, I probably, I mean, that one's a good, it's a good conspiracy theory to have. Because, again, this is, this is done the rounds everywhere. If you haven't seen it, I'm sure a simple YouTube search will bring you to what you need to know. Castro got banned for, yeah, I, I believe, transfer market searching, or yeah, he was just selling something. Yeah, just... And... Just uh, unlucky, I guess, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, that's not what was unlucky. He got unbanned, of course. Of course. EA, he... got EA Golden Boy, by the way. 
which I will never be, probably. I think I've applied several times, because why not? But <laughs> <laughs> as as well as that, um, two K. Yeah, we've also given as well 2K. as um, oh, let's go. Oh, there you go. As well as uh, what is it called? Uh, Nick, uh, Nick, run the foot yeah, market. Yeah, run the foot flying. market. <laughs> yeah, well, why not? But yeah, the main point is, and this is yet yeah, go. We got a win. We got our win, Rage boys. Win. We got another win. <laughs> but yes, main thing is that Castro opened a pack. I'm not sure which pack it was. I assume it yeah. was not an icon pack, and it was a regular pack. He got me nine, yeah. nine yeah. which I don't know. It just seems a bit weird. That you get Seems banned. very coincidental. Yeah, it, it does. It's very <laughs> coincidental. Timing. It does. Yeah, it yeah. does seem quite coincidental. I'm not gonna sit here and out. I think the speculation grows though, right? Because I think we had does. this chat. We had this chat last year, like when I wasn't playing the game. Uh, I'm searching, by the way. When you come back in, um, but it just um, yeah, like can EA give you? You know, the well, red well list, clearly they you know. can give stuff, as we've seen, yeah. with numerous I, employees who no longer work for them. Yeah, I, I just feel like, you know, if you can control the pack lag, that's, you know, that changes everything. Yes, <laughs> like, it does. To quote, like, to quote our, well, one of our, my favorite uh, streamer, um, you know, this changes everything, yeah. <laughs> it changes everything, like, and it's not even banter, like, I, I, I yeah. just... I feel like it should be all luck. Like it should. It should you know, be, you, and it there should. Be, it's not like it yeah. should be. You spend X amount of packs, and you're yeah. guaranteed. I know that people will yeah. say, "Oh, but there's like Timmy who comes on. He spends. He opens one pack, and he gets mid Pele yeah. or mid R nine, and he's set for FIFA." Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That is true. I did pack and pay twice last year, so I'm not complaining. I, feel, I just I don't know. Like um, I just feel like that part of the game you know like you know we all strive for the pack luck right and then we all flex it on you know social media as you've you know you would have seen like you follow ma the major um players and w i do as well and you know like we all you know um what is it three times probably three or four times in a C uh, fifa cycle that we kind of flex right like um the the black yeah you know sorry the the uh probably pre black friday like you know the the whole um the first uh sorry actually no so pre pre order packs right first of all and the all the marquee SBCs and the and the advanced SBCs and stuff i remember i packing a CR7 in one of the around the world SBC a couple of years ago um you know like even though i spent money on the game but you know it's pretty good to see like you you can pack stuff when you know from the from the free pack so to speak like free SBC you know and it was tradable too so um, and of course, after that, you know, from that until Black Friday, that's the second period for me. And then Team of the Year, that's the third. And then the fourth is the Team of the Season period. You know, like for yes. me, like that's pretty much the the FIFA cycle. Yes. You know, like, and if you are going to spend FIFA money, play. those are the four times you should spend money. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Definitely to get pre order. The best value. Like that's what I would recommend. Like pre order. Yeah, but pre order pre -orders the game which I didn't yeah, do. The pre orders don't yeah. feel worth it anymore. Yeah, the pre-orders, um, especially this yeah. year, and I don't know how many people will agree or disagree, mm -hmm. depending mm -hmm. on what they get. But obviously, this year we had the heroes. Now, I'm not saying this just because I packed Wolves seven game <laughs> legend Samuel Jabba, who went in to the Nakamura <laughs> SBC. However, the hero cards were very bad anyway. As we have a game. game, we have a game, but the hero cards were so outdated anyway, by the time we got our free one, like, just give us the free one when it comes out. Start of the game, yeah, at the start of the game. I know that that might be, oh, it's too much, but at least then, if Al Jabba is whatever, he's still usable. He's still for usable, a little longer. he'll improve your team, he'll go straight into your team, oh, and yes. so forth, you know? Yes, as we see, another Fat Benzema, a new Trent, yep. and a Fakir. Fakir. And Red De Jong. Ooh. That must be the f uh, well, the first one that I've... Or this week's, right? Yeah, so you know, he must have just freshly week's... packed it. I mean, um, you can get it from Elite Div too, don't you? Yeah. Oh, true. True, true. I did get Red Saka from Elite Div. Yeah, yeah. No need to flex on me. I'm not flexing <laughs> on you. I'm flexing on the five <laughs> Arsenal fans here. <laughs> yes. I already flexed on Phil. He's, he's not yeah, happy. Yeah, he's very jealous. He's yeah, very Phil good. is not happy. I do, I do hope... I think he got Van Dyke from his Team of the Week. Oh, pack, that's so. pretty good. Yeah. 
so I'm not going to complain, but... No, nah, exactly. Starboy is uh, just a flex. Not usable yet, sadly. At least not oh, for me. Kim Pembe trying to be Hullet, as usual. Oh, oh, night! Oh, wait, Gelson! Gelson! Oh, the slippery I fish! <laughs> there we go, the slippery fish! Ah, uh, the slippery fish! Oh, he must out muscle Van Dyke as well! <laughs> Gelson Martin, if you haven't done with the yeah, well you can't. Yeah, well you can't. Cards. Yeah, <laughs> thankfully I on my pack send where I sent my a bit of my club into player picks. What do you, what yeah. do we think about PK? I rate the showdown cards. I won't lie. I do. I do like the concept. The yeah, concept like has it. always been good, except I, it's, it's very clear why PK got put in, and he's as juiced as he is, and it's because everyone knows that they're not actually winning, and that yeah. PK is meant to be just. It's screen uh, PK. Also for the uh, Barca fans as well, I guess. Well, yeah, um, but oh, there you go. Come on. Nah, he didn't come out. <laughs> he started. I saw him come out. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. But it's... yeah, I I don't know. PK is definitely the move over Sule if you're gonna have to do one. But well, Sule will go to championship yeah. anyway next season. So yeah, that is that is true. <laughs> Sule, and this is another part. And this is another part of the thing that we want to try and incorporate the real life football where yeah. Yeah, because we Let do have what team, what team you support. Yeah, what you team know, we... do you support? We've got a what thirty-year Man United fan in yeah. here, and we've got a yeah. like two-year Wolves fan. One of the five, yeah. wolf, one of the five Wolves fans yeah. in this country. Oh, you gotta give you, you know, we gotta give you some credit, right? You actually support a non, um, you know, top fourteen. Yeah, I so support. I think I support the twenty nineteen Prem champions. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, you remember. Yeah, that yeah. is that was that was good bad to that back the in the non Super League boys. Third gen Leeds fan. Leeds. Oh. What is Kante doing? <laughs> oh Mbappe is a glitch by the way. <laughs> yes. Get your Mbappe's. Your next gen oh, you Mbappe's. Gotta... Yeah, you gotta get the Your next oh, oh. Your next is... gen Mbappe's, which will be coming soon. Well, at least he's not like Joe Coe's actually glitches the game. So. Yes, that is true. I mean, I'm glad I packed Joe Cole after that issue. Oh, lovely. Oh, no, Gelson. Gelson. No! Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Let's there go. you go. I can finish. Uh, hey, yeah. to be fair, one and a half weeks out, that's not too bad, isn't it? Yeah, one and a half weeks out is good stuff. It gave but... me a fresh impetus. <laughs> yes, it definitely does, taking that break away from FIFA. You need that break, I... yeah, you need that break. Yeah, you yeah, do. Sure. Like, I play sporadically, but then again, trying to play Elite Div is just hard in itself. Oh. On your own, yeah, for sure. You know, you'll pull your hair out. Well, no, just can... regardless, it's hard to find games. In this region, yeah, even on PS, so well, I don't yeah, know how like, the I boys in Xbox. Yeah, do, you know? I suppose they just match each other and they give free wins away. Yeah, yeah. it just turns but, yeah, into just... the free win simulator. But yeah, obviously, Big Ralph made his managerial debut at United. Ah, uh, yes, night. Ralph Renrick. Yep, Wreck It Ralph, the... as I will be calling him. Father, with... the father of the Gang Impress. Ooh. Oh, come on! Well, oh, that was nice. <laughs> uh, yes. Fred actually scored the win. Let's go. Back to back rage quits. Hey, I mean, the elite the boys are making the name, you know, well, we are living up to the name. But we somehow, are yes. Boys. Somehow. <laughs> somehow we're doing it. <laughs> you got your three wins already. The yeah, first that, That's reward. me. That's me. Yeah, three wins. Yeah, I got two wins. So, hey, you know, hey, we get seven wins. I mean, look. I don't want to be uh, presumptuous, uh, but if we can get up to like three or four, I would be pretty happy. Phase Tristan. Um, That's like, why do people put the? I know it's just to sound cool, but why do they put phase? Phase, like you put Phase in your name or you put like TTV <laughs> and you don't stream? One of those guys was really low, to be fair. I think I saw a sixteen. Like, 
You get that yeah. flash at the end. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah you get that flash where it's like, oh, he's sixteen ninety nine, or he's. It's so. I mean, we yeah. are getting the we are getting the lower tier elite. Let's of just say. course, <laughs> that is very true. That is quite true. That is very true. We're not going to deny. Matchmaking probably works, right? At this stage. At because... some stage, yes. We're... Okay, I'm reading it right now. Top 67% I am. Uh, 1781 skill rating. So I, I think my skill ratings are a little lower because I've quit a little more matches. But yeah. yeah and it you would... lost a few more. <laughs> well, yes. But I've also won more, which, you know, must mean something, right? <laughs> uh well remember we drew and then we uh oh someone quit on us yeah. and then we actually lost skill rating yes, <laughs> that is still a thing like i don't know how especially when this is actually like you can actually qualify for events thanks to stuff like this yeah and i saw um i saw one of my friends from the trading car family um it's all the way in south africa he he, he actually um uh, got through to the fsg like with the 8097 i think he said uh, see, skill rating see, here's my yeah. issue is like how does that like i didn't think like no disrespect to some regions right mm -hmm. it's not every region is stacked like europe but africa especially how would they even yep. like how many players would they have i Zawa's think here, um, let's go yeah it's um i believe it's um I don't what know. I know. Uh, I think I know the biggest African player is like Killian. I don't know what his name is. I know yeah, he's like yeah, Kalen or tournaments. something. They do have tournaments. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, in terms of like qualifying, because I don't think it's actually qualification. I think it's because I know Dylan Campbell from Order Army instead of Direwolves. Yeah. He won the qualifier. But I don't think, I think it's for an event at the end of whatever, I'm not sure what it is. Because the system's just been completely flipped on its head now in terms of qualities. Yeah, yeah. Everyone it remembers the live broadcast where every event would be like a live broadcast. They don't do that anymore. They don't do that anymore. For the some, EA channel, no. Yeah, for some reason, yeah. like... The, um, yeah, because, um, I, I, I just don't... Uh, kind of uh, understand the, um, yeah, but the I don't, change. I don't yeah. know. Like, I, I enjoy watching the lads. Like, I, there's a few I enjoy watching more than others. And it has nothing to do with, like, who I enjoy mm -hmm. or gameplay or anything. I just prefer to watch certain people. Yeah, yeah, of course. I but, mean, everybody has subjective, right? That's why they got, you know, yeah. their choices like yes. to watch. Even though, I mean, we don't have the biggest of community, but, like, exactly. people are in, you know, general. But, like... Um, I feel like, yeah, there are, you know, the, 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 it, there are different kinds of personality, which I love though. Like, you know, like we can, yeah, we can talk about it. I mean, I don't want to name, well, how do I say, I have to name them, but like, I don't want to like, just, I want to be subjective, you know? Um, like it's just, um, like, uh, I, you know, I, I've, I've grew up, uh, in FIFA watching, uh, Nepenthes, you know, yeah, um, and, like, and obviously he has some history with FIFA that, sorry, EA that yeah, the is history, not very good. The history um, with Nep um, isn't the problem for me, it's just the accessibility. Like, there's certain platforms I enjoy watching. Oh, you mean, on. yeah, Facebook, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's nothing personal yeah. against the boys that have gone anywhere, it's just, mm -hmm. since I've been on this website that we're using right now, Twitch, mm -hmm. it just mm -hmm. seems like the easier platform to watch. Yeah, Twitch is definitely more accessible for sure. Uh, and uh, I just, again, I don't want to be, um, I don't want to be sub um, trying to be uh, like say, uh, or I prefer one to the other, but you know, you do like, you know, because um, it, the Facebook um, platform, they try to, yeah. You know, they obviously tried, bring people in and it's they a try bit to too, make it more friendly. It feels just, like a bit know. too much. Like, say for example, yeah. I've got my main Facebook account, which is like my personal. I don't particularly want to be going into a Pistol no, Pete sure. stream with yeah. my personal when yeah, he yeah. You have to would make know me account. from... Yeah, yeah, well, you have to make yeah. like a sub account, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to use yeah, exactly, um, exactly. Think, that is exactly yeah, the, the point. Yeah, the are saying the same thing. Oh, um, and yeah. the wedge is here. Nico Wedge, long time Sydney yep. fan, Athletic fan, Wanderers fan. Yep. We are well, Nico. 
yeah yeah welcome in welcome in um but yeah it just um i feel like yeah facebook just wasn't like i know they try and bring other yeah, people they do in and... it's a yearly thing now because no one else yeah, is doing just, it and oh sorry um, i lie there is another thing that's doing it it's called youtube gaming let's not forget I mean, oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i mean fifa no one's gonna go to youtube i don't think i think fifa's yeah. safe because you can just make videos on YouTube and not have to stream there too. I don't know. How. Yeah. I mean, YouTube just feels so much. Because I've watched arguably the biggest one to go. Well, not stop just back, but I've watched like I think I watched a Ludwig stream this morning. I used to watch um. I used to watch a uh, Vicstar uh one two three. I on, watched a couple um, of his. Yeah. Yeah, I watched him on the um. Yes, of course uh, they do. YouTube. Like that's yeah. what happens is is streaming services will have this large amount of money allocated to them and they'll say, listen, we want to go, we want to go after this sort of talent and these sorts of names and they'll just go out and they'll allocate certain amounts of money. That's what they do. It's what Mixer's probably done over the years, which they can't do Oh, anymore. Mixer, I forgot all about yeah, Mixer. Yeah, yeah. I, I went to Nep. Uh, yeah, Nep was on Mixer. Mixer. Yeah. Oh, we got another game. It always changes, YouTube always changes the length of the comments. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, That's not okay. good. Not that I would know because I don't watch many YouTube streams. Horrible stream. Oh, yeah, Facebook. No, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, yes, because yeah. the homies would know. Fat Benzema. Yeah, another, another, another <laughs> Fat Benzema. We love the Fat Benzema ratio. <laughs> Merch coming soon. Fat Ben's of our T-shirt. Yes. <laughs> when I actually earn a living. You, you gotta, you gotta get like, you know. I know. I was saying that it's in one of the other streams. Like, you know, I know we joke about it, but Benzema has had a great, like, yeah. Um, how do I say a football? Like, you know, the, like, uh, you know, he's he's done very well for himself. You know, like yeah. I, that is I, I don't understand. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it, there's a disrespect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Benzema's so amazing that Zawa ratios with better Benzema and then gets counter ratioed <laughs> with fat French Benzema. <laughs> quality banter, but yeah, yeah, quality I, banter. I don't know. Like, I watched a few of Nate's streams, but I suppose Facebook is just like you have to stream for X amount of hours, and so he would just do all his rec streams at like yeah. yeah. Silly o'clock, which I guess is fine because it's fulfilling an hourship, and there's nothing wrong with it if you have a certain job. I didn't watch Marco's yeah. streams. I did not hear well of them when he was there. It is very difficult to um yeah. keep up with those streams. Unfortunately, yeah. I just didn't like the platform, and that's just subjective for me. I understand, but um, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, I didn't like Mixer as well. It was uh yeah. too much going on. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's um. Twitch has been the natural home for me, uh, you yeah, know, in all these years. So. Yeah, and I associate yeah. a lot of friends I've made through Twitch. Like, I can't say that I've gone onto a Facebook gaming stream and then I've met a streamer and I've liked them, personally. Yeah. Unless I know who they are already. Yeah, like, I think on Twitch, though, there's a few that, you know, we met, right? Everyone sort yes. of are very nice and yes. try and, um, like, you know, be... Like, um... And not just streamers, actually, I lie. There's, like, people that I... No, yeah. maybe not personally fully, but like I know yeah, and I can I, you know, you get met, along you with. Met a few. Yeah. Yes, I've met quite a few of the lads personally, and there's a lot of people that I know just through Twitch chats in general. Oh dear. That I can be like, oh yeah, I get along well, I enjoy chatting yeah. with so and so. And I think that's what I was told, right? Like when I, um, oh my god. Um, when I uh, first joined Twitch, you know, like, it's like, look, you know, you can uh, make friends that way. And people do try and make their community that way, you know, like, and try and uh, be everywhere in the Twitch channels. And that's how you build your community. And then you can stream, you know, and that's, you know, the way that a lot of the um, uh, people that I met has done it, you know, like, in front of my very eyes. So and I think yourself too, right? Like, you know, like, you wouldn't have uh, thought about streaming, you know, if you didn't, you know, sort of um, meet all these people, isn't it? So it's, you know, just um, beneficial to all of us. Oh, passing has been absolutely shocking, by the way, in this game. Oh, and uh, oh, Devin yes. Neres. Oh, we nearly got ratio by Devin Neres there. Yes. But yeah. 
Um, yeah, let, let's go back to the real football. Yeah, the um, real football and the fact that Wreck-It Ralph is 100% <laughs> into... 100% win rate, rather. Did you know? Did you know? Okay, this is a funny little step for you. Did you know he's the first German coach in EPL history to actually win his first game in charge? It wouldn't shock me. Yeah, because it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't the other shock guys me given, have not done very yeah, well. Given especially some of the, like, especially the sides they inherit. Yeah. Like, yeah. and the Germans that we've had. Like, I think we've had David Wagner well, from Huddersfield. If you think... Yeah, but, like, I didn't think that. I mean, I would have thought that. Actually, I lie. I lie. Technically speaking, if we're talking German prem manager, actually, I don't think he classifies as a German manager for some reason. I think David Wagner counts as USA, which is very odd. But hmm. okay, I thought he would be US. Sorry, um, sorry. Uh, I yeah, I thought he was German because I know the yeah. whole story of like not Klopp, David Wagner, the Huddersfield guy. The guy that worked for Schalke as well. Because I remember Huddersfield won like 3 0 on opening day against Crystal Palace when they got promoted. But I don't know if that would be counted in the stats. I don't know if Klopp did either, because you got to remember that Liverpool team, and I don't know if many was Liverpool. Shocking. Yeah, when he inherited it, it was quite shocking. Yeah. Bad. Quite bad. Yeah, you got to remember. Yeah. Oh, that's a foul. Yeah, Klopp drew the first game 0 0. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and Tuchel didn't win as well, which uh, was interesting for me. With an even oh. worse team. Spurs. Yeah, well, again, Spurs were still sort of reeling from the bail transfer, still trying to make all their money work from there. Have they ever fully recovered? I guess. I guess they have. They've got, like, one star or two stars out of the... Oh. Throughout the whole period in Son and Harry. Well, Son is arguably the biggest star. Yeah, Son star. is one of the... Son yeah, is best. arguably the biggest star than Harry Kane these days, unfortunately. He's a global star. Of course he's global. He's, uh, uh, he's you know, he's likable. He's uh, come from a, you know, like, good background. And, uh, yeah, he's a nice human being. <laughs> yes. Literally, very accessible. He carried well. a whole national team on his back to save himself from going to war. Never yeah, forget. Yeah, exactly. Never forget the um, Asian Games. Yeah. Uh, gold medal. He didn't want to go to military. He still did, but uh, but like only for a short time, instead of two years. Yeah, because that would be thing. Oh, great tackle. That would be. Thing, but yeah, that is an interesting stat. It's even more interesting that Fred was the guy that scored it. Because I admit, yeah. I was I wasn't watching because I think I had a stream on. But yeah, I watched. I, was... I watched the game. It was yeah. uh yeah. My dad, my dad was uh my dad's an Arsenal fan, so uh he was very very um unhappy that oh okay he's oh, offside oh, surely off. right yeah um. Yeah, he's uh, he wasn't very happy when uh, Fred scored, but uh, yes. yeah, it would have been funny if Van der Beek scored though. Oh, no, Van der Beek, he didn't. Oh, <sighs> he didn't come on till the 80th minute. Yeah, but still. Oh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, by the way, yeah, you know, like um, unlucky on the Wolves uh, match. Yeah, I, I didn't is. watch the game. I but, didn't uh, watch Origi, it either. It is quite Origi, sad. Origi, uh, but... done us, uh, done a disservice. To your uh, team, Origi, who Last was once minute. linked with Wolves, mind you. <laughs> I think we made the right decision not signing him. Oh, what a switch! Van de Bench. Oh yes. I mean, at least Bancho is now playing. And he yes, did quite well because one of German football's best managers finally realizes that United have one of German football's best young talents. And um, he actually played him on the right wing. Or he gave he got he got a free roll. So yes, because um, he would know. Like he was probably yeah. I don't know if he was there. But um, around the yeah, same time. and uh, you know, quite interesting results. Um, I think we we talked about it a little bit in the stream, the other stream. Um, like where you know we were talking about like yeah, Chelsea and you know having a tough game, and I called it like that. West Ham yes. will give Chelsea trouble, but a lot of people were saying, oh, you know, like Chelsea will win. Blah blah blah. Now. Nah. It's a it's a tough game going to um you know like the Hammers uh, home uh, Liverpool found out the hard way as well 
Ellison yeah. got absolutely only, bombarded. Only the big teams beat West Ham. I still stand yeah, by he, that. Ellison still seeing, you know, like um, oh. probably a uh, oh. oh, and uh, you know, the corners from that game. Oh, that is that's unlucky. Yeah, that's unlucky. Uh, but yeah, only and, the big teams beat West Ham, as we learned. Yeah, yeah, and um, you know, uh, Steven Gerrard getting a win again. Um, Leicester is in the mud. Leicester are um, always mudded because they don't like they're always that one. They piece actually got away. a good squad this year. Yeah, um, but they don't have their. Enough. I still don't think it's the best it can be. Because oh. one would argue that Fafana should probably be in there. Oh, and he's yeah, not... but he had an unfortunate exactly incident, right? unfortunate. It's unfortunate for him. It's not unfortunate for the poor bloke that tackled him. I think that was yeah, that was a bit oh unlucky. Oh my god, this <laughs> the is... auto blocks the auto block simulator instead of the searching simulator. Uh, yeah, it's um. I mean, it's a great um, season if you think about it. The top three seems to be well uh, established, um, and the battle for the Premier League. Oh, that's a foul. Okay, uh, the battle for the Premier League and the battle for the top. Uh, sorry, uh, number four position will be very, very interesting, uh, to say the least. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be. Um... I mean, the relegation battle could be good as well. You never know. But... I think so. Yeah. Well, let's hope the but... you know. I mean, Norwich purposes. have been Norwich have been trying. They've been getting a few good wins under Dean Smith, which is nice. He's recovered well after being, I would say, unfairly sacked. But yeah, I think so. But yeah, um... considering Everton's fall at the moment, how is Rafa Benitez not being given the boot? Of course, yep. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Norwich are pulling their asses out into gear. Which Nice. Newcastle uh, Newcastle got their big win in the relegation six-pointer against Burnley, so... Yeah, it's a very um, interesting season, I think, developing, for sure. And this uh, month will tell us a lot more because of, uh, you know, uh, the whole... Um, uh, yeah, the whole um, Christmas uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, and then we've got January, time. which is going to be a case of how many millions can Newcastle throw at X player. Yep, yep, for sure. Uh, and um, try and um, you know, like understand, yeah, where whereabouts are the 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 you know the uh the people are going to be, the teams are going to be at that you know time. So it's going to be a very interesting. Um, I'm sure. Of, uh, I am sure, sure there will be a transfer-related podcast in the lead up to January. I'm sure yeah. we'll find either at the start. Yeah. of... I'm guessing at the start of January or yeah. right before. We can, we can speculate. You know, like what sort of uh, you know, like if Renato is going to Arsenal or. <laughs> yeah, that's not what I'm worried about. I mean, I like. <laughs> I am worried about it because it makes no difference. Like Arsenal actually have good midfielders. Wolves need cover. They don't have enough yeah, for sure. squad depth. We oh, probably need centre backs as well. Well, well so. we do need at least two cent a centre back, yes, because we, I believe, have two first team centre backs that aren't going to Afcon, and then we have Dendonka. Oh which... yeah, we didn't even uh, talk <laughs> about um yeah Africa, you know, I, and um oh Arsenal need um, a striker. Aubameyang is past it. David Luiz oh, sure. to Wolves. Bill, I don't think David Luiz would want to. Do that. I mean, he fits in with the transfer. Oh, go away, Shinsuke. Go away. But yeah, I mean, David Luiz would speak the language, so at least you wouldn't have any trouble understanding. But I don't know if David Luiz is quite ready for Wolverhampton these days. Sadly, I feel like that is something that already, like, oh. yeah, no. Yeah, thanks. it's just um, I don't think um. Many big teams will will sign anyone. Yeah. However, yeah, Liverpool losing Mane and Salah could be like, huge. Yeah, well, they've got they've got Jota and they've got oh, who Minamino. That's off. Ah, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, at least at least you've got like Mendy's going away, but Kepa's there, and Kepa. Can... Oh, you really trust Kepa? <laughs> well, you're gonna have to because I don't think you're gonna. 
chuck a whole load of money at a goalie who's basically nah, nah, just going to be there for will. six months. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's you're not trying to... Unless you're like Wolves, then you need a centre-back because we're not playing... Ideally, we're not playing Dendonka there at centre-back for the entire month or however long. Because for all we know, Morocco could get eliminated pretty early, although I doubt it. I doubt it. But they got a stacked team. Yeah, they all there. Yeah, they do. It's the Dutch and French rejects eleven. Actually, sorry, that's the entirety of Afcon at this point. Is if you've been rejected by a national team, you somehow qualify for an African team, which is not a jab at anyone that's done it. Because hey, if you want to play international football, you'll find it. But yeah, think of all the Japanese uh, players that are converted to um, um, you know, uh. Sorry, Brazilian players that come. Yeah, you go to the, like China, yeah. Um, like Alcacine. Yes. We love Alcacine. Oh, that's a, yeah, that was. Uh, that was a weak foot and a half. <laughs> so many. Bill, it's it's China. It's not Japan. Oh my god. No, no, Japan as well. Um, yeah, Brazil, but um, it's mostly over. it's yeah, but it's mostly in recent years it's China. I yeah. find. Mr. But um, yeah, it's um Even interesting um, Welcome. topic, you know, like you, you, if you're not in the yeah the the countries uh well yeah. even I mean... look at um um what is it called uh um uh what is it um who's the dude from ah oh, yeah Antonio yeah yeah Antonio um, well yeah, he's getting up there he's not really gonna play for England ever. That's a... Oh, okay, that's, that's not a red card. That's a nothing. That's a nothing. <laughs> we are losing this game, for those of you that uh, that's all right. are listening. You know. Not that it matters, though. Not that it matters. He's better than Kane. try and... Oh, that's a great girl. Yeah, but... Let's be honest. If you had we to pick between for. Antonio and Kane, Phil, long term for a World <laughs> Cup next year, I don't think... <laughs> I do not think that... Are they... I mean, they got... They got a lot of, um... Uh, backup striker. Yeah, they've got know, far I, I too many. Think, they've yeah. got far too many. That's the Antonio issue. Antonio can't. Antonio won't be um part of the squad, unfortunately. That's why he you know switched to um. Exactly. Uh, same as Zaha. To be fair, he went to um, Ivory, Ivory Coast. Coast. Yes. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the boys go Ivory Coast. And um, I found out that uh, Matt Target from Aston Villa was playing for Poland. It's Matty Cash, not um, Matt Target. Sorry, not Matt Target. Yeah. Matty Cash. No, yeah. my apologies. I, I'm like, yes. How is he Polish? <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things that you like. Yeah, Kane has glass angles. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I mean, and, that's and, why I uh, say. I mean, we we could have um lost uh Cahill to Samoa too, if you really think about it. So, um, he did play <laughs> for them we do... under twenty three. Why would we do yeah. that? Did you not see what happened to American Samoa in like 2001? 28 nil or something, right? <laughs> Archie Thompson broke the single goal scoring record for an international game. Uh, Archie Thompson, the the guy with the the left foot and the right hook to the corner flag. <laughs> no, that's Kim Cahill. But... Well, he does it too. I think. I, oh no, Archie does the run, run around, right? Whatever. Yeah, yeah I forget. Yeah. Because he's a bit past but, my. Yeah. He's a bit past my time. Yeah, it's um. It's a, it, it's just an interesting uh, topic, you know. I guess, but yeah, you know, if you want to play international football, why not, right? Yes. You, you got to do what you got to do. You, you'll find your great grand grand great 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 grandmother yes. is uh like some, some of the country. Aussie lads. <laughs> we need all the Aussies we can get. Just sign up now. Martin Boyle joined us several years ago. Best decision he ever made. Yeah. We need more. Any we Eng definitely need any more. English expats. I mean, the Ashes like are coming Like, Craig Moore. Up. Craig Moore was, um, I think he was from England, right? Oh, sorry, Scotland or something. You know, like, he, um, um, yes. he played, you know. Um, I think that used to be the, I think they used to try and recruit the guys from uh, overseas as well. Yeah, I mean, I, think, I know yeah. it was like Daniel Lazani was getting recruited by Iran. Yes. But yeah. obviously it never happened. Yeah, he, we he could dedicate we could dedicate an entire episode to failed wonder kids. Yeah. <laughs> like the episode just straight, write them straight from my FM list. <laughs> well, no, it's just what could have been failed wonder kids. Freddy, Freddy, I do. 
<laughs> well, yeah, Freddy Ado, probably not as notable, but you've got like Daniel Azani <laughs> and Bo. Yeah, I mean Daniel Azani's got time on his side, all right. So maybe maybe we shouldn't yeah, give yeah, up on him. Yeah, he's not failed yet. Come on, don't he's call not, him a failure. Yeah, yet. but he's <laughs> failed ever since he joined Man City, and then he got injured for Celtic. Fun fact: almost half of Archie's goals were scored in that game. Well, that's a shock. That yeah. is a shocker. Yeah. By the way, um, I I switched the team a little bit, um, because you know like. We sold uh, Vinny Jr., so I'm just yes. thinking, like, it hasn't really made a big difference, like, so, which is good, you yes. know? Yes. Um, It'll just be um, nice when that Player of the Month comes out. Oh, yeah, for sure. I hope uh, EA doesn't... Yeah, um... EA, you better not give yours all <laughs> Player of the Month. If you well, give... we never saw... Um, the, uh, wait, what was the other one that we were waiting for? Um... Oh, the, the Ben Yedda. Yeah, but we yeah, saw a signature, the... signature star. Yeah, but yeah, thankfully, so. I mean, there was, there was the other month. Them to sell the whole the team rep. and get your sa Jesus, your Sabio for one. What are you gonna pull around him, Phil? A Portuguese team, a bronze Portuguese team. That'd be good nah, content. He's got a few uh, untradeables, I'm sure. Yeah, but still, like, I don't know if I'd do that personally. Nah, why not? Yeah, exactly. If you, I mean, again, like, I don't know if topic, I would right? do it. Like, that's another topic. Like, if you want, like, you want to change your team around, like, before team of the year, or are you happy with, um, you know, like coming? Uh, you know, with the with the same team, uh, freeze promo is coming up soon as well. Yes. From what we hear, well, yes, and what we see, but... yeah, and as we get another game, interesting. Yes. We are getting games, by the way. What is it? Seven thirty your time, six thirty my time. I'm in uh, sunny Queensland, so I'm one hour behind and probably twenty years behind. But <laughs> yes, I mean, when you live in Australia. <laughs> yeah, it does feel that way, actually. Shout I mean, okay, that way. I, I'm just joking, by the way, if anyone is from Brisbane. <laughs> yes, I mean, Australia is actually like, oh. ten, Australia is like 10 years ahead. What do you mean? No, 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 like Queensland. Is yeah, I know, Queensland. but like, Australia is like 10 years ahead of Genoa, everyone else. Cantona and Mbappe in the team, by the way. Uh... <laughs> and Graven Birch. Team of the year, and yeah, yeah that's the problem. Yeah, is they... And they half ass a promo, they they half ass it. I really miss the whole um foot mess deal, by the way, you know, like oh. when it came out the first time. It was uh very, yes. very I know even though the SBCs were terrible and expensive, but hey, you know, I used that Rashford, I used that Vidal. I remember, you know, like it was like I those are the cards that I remember, but like there's a few more, I'm pretty sure. Sissoko that I paid a lot of money for and never used. <laughs> Yeah, it just um interesting. I just love the Oh, what are you doing? Clearing all? Oh yeah, true. Sorry, I thought you cut off. It's alright. You're just listening to my sultry tunes. Oh yes. Sultry when... tones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's Herrera, I won't lie, I did do that to Herrera. Oh, no. He did get upgraded. Yeah, I did, I did, I did Herrera as well, I'm pretty sure. Yes, back when they actually upgraded cards for being good in the year. and then Instead of uh, just giving it for no reason. Well, yeah, but now they don't even do upgrades anymore. They just do it in head-to-head. -head. Yeah. So you'll Bit see, a... like, a, I don't know, like, they took the fun out of upgrades now. There is no excitement. Your cards aren't going to get upgraded. Like, at least back in the day, you used to see cards, and then you'd be like, oh, yeah, this card could get upgraded if he plays well, or... And he gets his yeah, winter upgrade. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's, it's been a bit, um... Oh, lackluster in that sense, isn't it? I mean, a lot of EA's content's been lackluster over... Oh, nice auto block. Thanks, EA. <laughs> yeah, the one good yeah. thing from EA. What's the, yeah, what's the most frustrating thing as well for you, you know, like for you guys, you know, let us know as well uh, in this year's FIFA. Like, you know, I'm seeing a lot of people talk about, oh, like the, you know, the, the through balls now, that the, the over the top through balls are now overpowered again uh, after the live tuning. Uh, the defenders being very, very overpowerful. The goalkeeper's FIFA's being terrible as well. Um, yeah, there's a few uh, complaints from the top tier players. I'm hearing. I don't know. They never get anyone decent to test the game. Nah. They only get their golden boys to test it. 
That's the issue. The and sorry, I say Golden Boys, not the pros, even though one of the Golden Boys is a pro. I won't name him. But... <laughs> I remember of the Australian FIFA scene, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about, and you'll know how much. I don't know if anyone called called EA out for it, but yeah, true. Go on. Oh, oh the save with the foot. Yeah, that was a good good save. Oh. oh, 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 unlucky. But yeah, it's um, it's an interesting. Oh, um, no. You know, the only reason I play is to get ninety games a season. I don't play because I want to at this point. I play because I stream. Yeah, is it just that's the sad thing though, isn't it? You know, like. And I know a lot of should, people are probably a lot of it. people are probably afraid to be like, yeah, the game is going back. Yeah, exactly, it's going back to being AI dominated. Like, that's how we get to elective, is because we just do all these overpowered things that we find on all the social medias that supposedly work. I know. Oh, <laughs> it's just because the AI defends well. And the good, oh, you know, um, we buy the good players as well, I guess. Yes, that always is going to come into it. You have to buy good players. Oh my god, the passing. What is going on? I don't know. I enjoy your games that are completely AI dominated. Oh, needed to have two more inches. <laughs> Take your two inches. Give it to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Saucy. Oh. But yeah, it's um, yeah, it just um, for me, like it, you know, it could be so much better. This game, like you know, like you should be like all clamoring to play for this game, you know, like, and it just, yeah, I mean, we still play probably more than your average um. You know, casual player, I say. What but was um, that? It's, was that a? That was a finesse. Was that a finesse. Oh my lord! All right, I'll get to that in a second, Phil. It's, he says I don't have any fun playing this. Playing rivals last night, I played Matt Bro. I'll when I get the chance. I'll finish reading that list. Miguel, Anthony, Saad, and someone else was twenty one hundred SR back to back to back. Wanted to cut my hands off. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. I don't know. Again. And I don't say this to take shots at people like us, but Elite Div ain't legitimate these days. Elite yeah, Div no, exactly was not. advertised as a dream, but when everyone and their dog with a semblance of a good team hits Elite Div, it ain't fun. Oh, what a say by Donnarumma. And there. I'm sure... Yeah, exactly. Just clear it, please. I yep. did, and that was the result. Oh, little scoop ball by uh, Gelson. I think Gelson v Gelson, that's going to be an uh, interesting yeah. Thankfully, one. being such a low SR, you don't quite encounter the guys that you might encounter, Phil, which is unlucky, of course. Our hearts go out to those that actually have ISRs. We will never... And if we ever do... Yeah, we won't, we won't get to that level. <laughs> I'm, I'm better than the average player, not an elite level player. Yeah, exactly. 17. Oh, so you're at 7. Yeah, I think we're at that now. Ooh. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I am at about that. So, yeah. yeah, I'm at about that too. So now we're playing, and we're not really doxing anyone, because no one knows how to spell, <laughs> but... BSK and XK, I don't think they're pros, so we've just gotten unlucky. Only yeah. for, yeah, because elite, elite used to be foot champs, it didn't used to be this. Which is, I don't know. I do not know if I really enjoy it, but unfortunately they're not going to change it. They should never have changed the system. Where is their metrics to say that the system was bad? I want to sit down with someone on this podcast and be like, where were your metrics? A pro club player. Ah, yes, that's right, Eddie. I forget you play. You're like one of the five clubs on PlayStation that actually play. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Even, no, it's even not a they, shot at pro even... clubs. I've played pro clubs. It's just the searching is horrible. I think they even killed um, pro they, clubs They basically did. It's not that they killed, like... 
I saw a video that one of the main Pro Clubs creators has put out. Do you know how many games it takes to get to max level on Pro Clubs? Oh, what a go. 700 mm -hmm. games, roughly, to get to max level instead of 100. Jeez. But yeah, because they've got sad, the... Yeah, they've That's got the sad. Oh, okay. That's but a bit yeah. sad, isn't it? That's the thing. You know, just you... unlucky. They really should not be... Um, They really should not be messing around with it we probably ask for too much from ea when they start touching stuff that they shouldn't be touching exactly <laughs> like it's simple it it's like with with anything if you don't want something to get fixed because it's fine then don't fix it but where is their metrics like why do you have to make it so hard to grind max level on pro clubs why do you have to make searching so difficult on anything not just pro clubs not just fort anything and why do you have to change rivals and champs so that you have to play all your games because it used to be oh i can go to 18 wins or 20 wins and i can get my rewards but now you have to play 20 games 29 games if you're really not lucky and you have to qualify Ah. Uh. It's a separate thing entirely. You shouldn't be having to qualify every week if you hit a certain rank. Because other because if you if you don't filter out all the boys that have already qualified, then you are not doing yourself any favors. Let's go. Oh. oh. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just, All right. where, where is the matrix? I was, I was, uh, I was um, concentrating pretty hard. It's pretty hard to... Uh, it is. It is, very, well, but... it is very hard. That's why we applaud a lot of people that can do this often. Ah, uh, just... Of course, we missed a chance and then they score on the other side. Missed so a just... pretty crucial chance, but... I think so. I'm usually pretty good with the finishing, not gonna lie. Uh, yes. <laughs> In terms of the setup for the co-ops, it's usually me that does all the assisting. But it's all right. It's uh, it happens. But um, anyway, Ooh. it's lock on player locks, corner glitches. There's just too much that we can sit there and be like, why is this there? Why is that there? And their response will be hyper motion, which we don't even use because no one plays the PS5 version. And if you yeah, do... there's another topic that came alive, right? Um... Yes. In the last couple of weeks, yeah, like you know, a lot of the content creators are talking about it, a lot of the Twitter feed, yeah, a lot of the pros doing it. it for easy wins. Which, yeah, hey, it's it's just been is... a bit, um, yeah, it's just whatever. a little bit uh, disappointing, right? The the next gen console, yeah, um, like, and the games are us... made for them, but yeah, exactly. Just... That's the problem is you can't do cross gen gameplay or you can't do cross platform you can't even do cross platform because the games like i can't play someone on ps5 on my ps4 version because hyper motion mm. like what's the point yeah hyper motion sucks it sucks i'm sorry ea i don't know if you're ever gonna listen to this but it sucks it just yeah it is a bit disappointing that's all there's a lot of things that are disappointing that's the problem but that is the main cog in their wheel this year, is that, yeah, it's not enjoyable at all. Oh no! Oh. What's gonna happen? Which inevitably means we're probably playing against like a... <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's been a bit of a, a, you know, just just been very very um inconsistent FIFA for me. Like just you know, like an EA a solution is to you know just give you just enough so that you you know grind the game, player picks and whatnot. But they you know, don't, they just... don't want to do stuff that actually rewards you and gives you yeah. that RNG. Like they don't want to do that. They would much rather. You know, they would much... As they're going to get... Oh, yeah, how did they... Is, yeah, that is pretty bad. Yeah. 
another elite game probably lost. Who cares? We actually had a chance to pull it to one one, so Exactly. Um, anyway. Exactly. We we um yeah. We look I, back I hope, I hope I hope people are at least enjoying what we're talking about. We basically talk like this every time we play co op anyway, because of especially when we get to a certain level in Elite, like you know you you kind of have to wait for a game. And I'm, and I'm sure once we stop recording the podcast, we'll get back to that point. <laughs> the shackles will be off at that point. Yeah. It's all right. I'm, I'm trying to censor myself a little bit, I guess. Yeah. For now. For now. Not much longer. Yeah. Not much longer. <laughs> That's all right. I'm, I'm happy to um, discuss whatever. But I think I've been pretty, I've been pretty good. Yes, you, um, have, you have. I haven't been... Um, Definitely. I haven't been very, um, you know, any anything. Oh my god, this, this... Ga- this game's been doing some naughty things. Yeah, the again, the 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 whole um, system is so broken. Yeah, that, too, like... That'll be. I don't think that's ever getting discussed, Phil. Personally, don't yeah, think, I don't think that's getting a separate episode. Unfortunately, oh uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, that is. We cannot be talking about that. <laughs> yeah, that is that is private life. Unfortunately, oh. pro- <laughs> yes, there's many things that we're, like, even if we ever get guests on, which I'm sure we'll never have the reputation to get any single guest on, but if we do, <laughs> but I'm sure if we do, we will not encourage private life unless it relates to what we discuss. Ah, oh, these guys are now playing with us. Um, anyway, yeah, I-, I just don't like, another another thing that I want to talk about, though, is that... Um, I just don't like um, how the momentum switches so much here, like in this game. Like, and again, I don't want to bring in conspiracies and you know scripting and all that stuff. But it just seems to be like in this game, right? Remember when you know we were in other divs as well. So this is not only the elite div, but like you know, like you you get to a point and you're winning or you you're losing. Um, oh, what a ball! Um, and suddenly you just switch the other way. You know, like it just um like and then bang 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 you know the opponent score um three or four goals and it just turns the tide and it just like you can't do anything about it and and it just again i'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist here you know it just seems to be there's a bit of stuff going on there yes um and i don't i just don't understand you know like i mean and and that's not this fifa like obviously other FIFAs too, but I play this FIFA a lot more, and I think it's just more recent in my memory. So it just, yeah, I, I haven't played that much FIFA at all. Since, Did like, see a nineteen hundred? So yeah, he feels right. Nineteen, but... I do, I do. Um, I did play a lot, but um, twenty, I didn't. Um, eighteen, yeah, I did. Like my, yeah, eighteen was the last FIFA that I actually thoroughly enjoyed because yes, uh, I got I, my ultimate team at the end of the well, yeah, you know, the cycle. I actually got my ultimate team, which is um yes, that very rare. You know, so. actually like usable, but yeah. Closing thoughts. We're gonna round the podcast here. Closing uh, yep. thoughts on the debut episode of the podcast. <laughs> well, what, I mean, like, yeah. Can I ask you that? Like, what, what, what did you think? Like, how do we, how do we go? We survived. We got through. <laughs> we survived. Does chat two wins, wanna see two wins out of four? Two wins out of four. Yeah, we survived. Bad. Does chat wanna see a sequel? That's the better question. We'll put it to the Twitch <laughs> chat. We'll put it to you guys that watch or that listen on the various platforms. But anyway, yeah. that is the pair Just of us. Know. It's the pair of us signing off. We're not ending the stream, yeah. by the way. Relax. We're not ending the stream. Let us relax. know. Let us know how. Um. Yeah. How? What? What did you? What? What you wanna? What do you want us to uh, talk about? And uh, yeah, we'll take you know like notes and and see. Uh, We'll, we'll prepare aside more from our can... aside from our own stuff of course aside yeah, from our yeah, own yeah. stuff and you know we talk about everything like we don't only talk about fifa you know we talk about everything and yeah i'm sure there will be uh segments on different um things that you know we both enjoy different games different activities and so forth you know hopefully uh we get past the you know the premiere episode <laughs> yes we definitely will be sorry serbian chicken but <laughs> <laughs> unlucky anyway that is episode one of the elite boys podcast done and yes. dusted appreciate Thank tinky you. appreciate the twitch chat see yep. you next time see you next time